What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Gold. In the last episode, you guys, we had taken on Whitney and her notorious mill tank and came out victorious on the first try because we are just goaded. And we are now here on Route um, 35. We're going to be progressing through the story. Actually, that's not true. There is one place we have to go real quick. Hold on. Wait a minute. We'll do a team recap in a second. We gotta go up here. Hey. Oh, you're better than Whitney. Do you know about that moving tree? If you wet it with a squirt bottle, it attacks. But since you already have some badges, you should be okay. I've received a squirt bottle. Shut up. Okay. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Wait. Okay, so if you guys are hyped and excited for today's episode, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And a quick team recap is in order. Because first we got Matsu the Pinako, level 21, with Tackle, Takedown, Protect, and Rollout. And the MVP carry of our team, Sunnyside Up the Togepi, the best way to have your eggs. With Headbutt, Metronome, Sweet Kiss, and Charm. And of course, last but not certainly not least... We have our starter, Stump the Bayleaf, level 25, holding the Miracle Seed, rocking Razor Leaf, Tackle, Poison Powder, and Reflect. But to let us now progress. Hey, man. When is the next bug catching contest going to be? I don't know. We hold contests regularly in the park. You should give it a shot. There's no one here. I get the other guy's Pokedex sticker if I win. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> I'm playing with stickers I printed from my Pokédex. Anything in the trash? No. I take walks in the park, but I never go into the grass. <clears throat> Trainers always want a battle. Yep, that sounds about right. Pay attention, please. Oops, I have to quit thinking like a teacher all the time. You must be a Pokémon trainer. Since you're working so hard, I want you to have this. <gasps> it's a quick claw. Let a Pokemon hold that Quick Claw. Sometimes it'll strike first during battle. Hey, that might be... That actually might not be too bad on uh, Matsu. Matsu, I've got a gift for ya. Besides, if we can get that Quick Claw rollout... Could come in clutch sometimes. Hey, do you want to battle? Oh, you do. My Pokemon are so cute. Let me show them off to you. Okay. Pokey fan Beverly with your schnapple. Schnapple, bah, 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 bah. Uh, Let's just use rollout. Oh my god, it's charming me. No. Are we just normally faster? Or does. Oh my god, what is this? A berry? Oh, you're cringe. Stop it. Ah. Oh. We would have one shot it. No. <clears throat> I say, I kind of felt bad for Matsu last episode. I wanted to really get her leveled up. And then we just had to sack. We had to sack her off. That was. Actually, I threw. To be honest, I completely threw that. If I had just instantly uh, led with Togepi, I'm pretty sure we would have won just fine. But Oh, a battle? Yeah, I want a goddamn battle. Oddish. Oddish? Fuck it. Let's use Roll Out again. No, it's giving me the suck. Alright. Oh my god. Oh, it was a crit. Cubone. We're using a rock type move, but we should be okay. I don't think Cubone's that... That notoriously strong, right? Nah. 
not really. Another crit? Oh my god. Matsu, you're the best. Instantly better than last Chris. Price? Chris? I don't know. Mm. Oh, you don't fight me? This is mail I got from my daughter. It cheers me up. Good. Uh, let's go fight this guy. Hey, man. We adore our Pokemon, even if they dislike us. That's what being a fan is all about. Yeah? Is that right? Look at him. I hope that's me in the future. Oh, Lord. That is... That is a thick Raichu. I saw... I saw online, and my buddies will always send it to me, too. There's, like, this fan... Like, this fake Pokemon card that people make. And it's just a super thick Pikachu. And it's got moves, like... Uh, I think like thunder cheeks and ass clap. It's hilarious. I love it. If I remember, if I remember to put it in the video, I'll, I'll put it on the side right here. Dude, did Matsu beat a Raichu? Matsu, you're the best. Matsu's trying to learn rapid spin. Uh. You know, if this was Gen 8 and onward, I would be more than happy to keep Rapid Spin. We're gonna get rid of Takedown. <laughs> I I really don't want to have a move that hurts myself. Unless it's like Flare Blitz or, I don't know, Head Smash. But Rapid, all Rapid Spin does, it's like a super weak powered move that removes like hazards and I think the effects of Bind, Wrap, and Leech Seed? The only form of, like, the thing I could think of is back then when, in for Gen 1, actually, Gen 1 competitive Dragonite was super AIDS to fight against because all it would do is it would click Toxic, and then it would click Wrap, and then you can't do anything. Where the fuck am I going? Why am I going to Narnia? TM28, I'm pretty sure that's Dig. <laughs> pretty sure that's Dig, and no one on our team can learn that. But it's okay. What? I'm about to say, if they put nothing here and just made me walk that shit... Oh my god, I would have been so mad. Come on. Come on. We don't got all day. Uh, actually, let's click. Let's quickly heal up. No, not Pokemon. Let's heal up Matsu. I'm going to try and not use any, uh, potion or, po yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try and use as... What am I trying to think of here? Why am I blanking? I had the whole thought process in my head and I just can't... Ex I can't verbalize it. You know, I don't know. I give up. Thinking's hard. I think what I'm trying to think of is I'm going to use the potions that I have on hand. The potions that I have on hand, I'm going to try and use as much as I can. So when we get to the next city, I can stock up. That sounds right to me. Also, we walked through all of that grass and found no Pokemon. Some Pokemon can only be seen in the park. Who? Fucking asked. I'm going to read your thoughts. Oh no, you don't want to know about the things I'm thinking of. I'll tell you what, buddy. Oh my god, you have three Pokemon. Oh, they're Abra. Hi, Abra.
Don't flash me. Nasty. Oh god. No. Hey, it was a crit. Appreciate you, Matsu. Another Abra, to be expected, I guess. Ooh, a Kadabra. Did you guys know that actually in the anime, uh, Kadabra wasn't allowed to be shown because apparently there's some it was like a guy, I think it was a specific person who did like the the whole spoon tricks and stuff. And I guess they made I guess they like made Kadabra based off that guy. Or he thought that. I don't remember how exactly how it is. But he got super offended and like, you know, told the Pokemon company not to show it off. So they didn't. Kadabra's never in the anime for like, I don't know, twenty years until sometime like this year or last year they finally the guy was like sorry <laughs> you can show Kadabra off again Todd what the fuck it's me Todd are you doing want to battle <laughs> round 34 I would really prefer not to fight you or you <laughs> Thanks to my studies, I'm ready for any Pokemon. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? I don't think you're ready. Do you have two or one? You got one. It's Tangela. I know these things, chat. Okay. I didn't want that to happen. Come on. Dude, why is... Dude, Tangela is thick. No. Oh, it was a crit. Thank you, Matsu. Ooh, will we be able to take out Tangela in time? Oh, not if we do that. Um, I guess we'll swap. <laughs> yeah. One more? Please, please just be one more. Thank God. <gasps> Matsu's level 23. Puggers. Um, we do have, pretty sure we have Poison Cure. Oh, we have Antidote, even better. And we got some Super Potions. We'll just heal up the squad real fast. And here we go. Here's the tree. So we're going to swap. We're going to swap Matsu with Stump. Hey there, Mr. Tree. It's a weird tree. Use the squirt bottle. Yep. The weird tree doesn't like the water. The weird tree attacked. Boop, boop. And look, it's a pseudo wudo. Oh my god, who would have thought? Alright, we're Razor Leaf. I know it's super effective, but it won't kill. And you know, we're not gonna add pseudo wudo to the team, but I always like the idea of just catching it. Two. Oh. Okay. Pseudo Widow, you're missing your attacks anyway. You might as well just stay in the ball. You know what I mean? No. Get in there. <laughs> you whore. Pseudo Widow, the imitation Pokemon. Although it always pretends to be a tree, its composition appears to be closer to a rock than a plant. 
Do you want to give a nickname to Sudowoto? Not really. Hey, buddy. Did you clear that wretched tree? I'm impressed. I want you to have this. <gasps> it's TM08. Oh, yeah. Happens to be Rock Smash. You can shatter rocks with just a single, well-aimed smack. If any rocks are in your way, just smash them up. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for that. That really makes my day. So, yeah. Again, Sudowoodo will not be a part of the Goon Squad. But Sudowoodo will always be there in our hearts. Hello. And... Anne and I are in this together. Oh, yeah. You ride together, you die together. Sort of thing. Sent out Jigglypuff. Oh, boy. A lot of battling this episode, which I don't mind. It's always good to get the training in. Plus, I'm going to have to try and figure out what the plan is for the next gym battle. Which makes me kind of worried. Because <laughs> it's not like we don't have particularly anything to, to handle it. We don't have anything that can really handle it. But we have something that could stand a chance. But we're going to have to see how that turns out. Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. Psychic Greg with a drowsy. Fitting, fitting, fitting. Just keep using rollout. Can you imagine if he said all that shit and he doesn't even use hypnosis? I know that's what he's gonna do. Just do it. My rollout. Fine, we'll tackle. He finally used hypnosis, but it took him long enough. That should have been like his turn one thing. I lost. That's pretty sad. I know. He talked all that shit and then got clapped. <gasps> Hi, Pidgey. Guys, I'm scared I'm gonna find a shiny Pokemon that isn't... I'm gonna find a shiny for a Pokemon that's not supposed to be on our team. And I'm gonna, like, have a hard time deciding if I should add it or not. I guess depending on what it is. Like, if it's a Pidgey, I'm not gonna add it. Because that's stupid. <laughs> You'll sit in the box as the... What the hell? Who are you? Get out of here. Who are you, my guy? Hi, I'm Bill. And who are you? Hmm, Solus, huh? You've come at... You've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades of the past, but you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. Put simply, no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Don't worry, I'm done with the adjustments. Tomorrow the time capsules will be running at all Pokemon centers. I have to hurry back to Golden Rod and see my folks. Bye bye Toodaloo. Thanks, Bill. Alright, so of course, real quick, we'll check out the town real fast. And then I think we could just call it an episode, yeah? Just like we usually do. Morty, the gym leader, is so cool. His Pokemon are really tough, too. Oh, yeah? The way the Kimono Girls, the kimono girls dance is marvelous. Just like the way they use their Pokemon. Lake of Rage. The appearance of the appearance of a Gyarados swarm. I smell conspiracy. I know it. God, I don't know why. I don't know why words are so hard for me to say right now. I'm going to practice at the dance theater. Care to join me? Hey yo. Look, I like dancing as much as the next person. Not really. <laughs> Use a revive. A Pokemon that's fainted will will wake back up. I think is what she said. My Eevee evolved into an Espeon, but my friend's Eevee turned into an Umbreon. I wonder why? We were both raising our Eevee in the same way. Fun fact, that's because 
uh, an Eevee can evolve into a Espeon if you're leveled up with high friendship during the day, while Umbreon is high friendship with Eevee at night. Now you know. Um, I guess we'll just buy this. I feel like it's so hard to make money in this game. And this is the dance theater? Yep. Not only are the Kimono Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. I've always challenged them, but I've never even left a scratch. Lad, if you can defeat all the Kimono Girls, I'll give you a gift. Ooh, well, we're not doing that this episode. That man's always with his right on. Says he wants a Pokemon that can surf and dance. Is he trying to make a synchronized swimming Pokemon? Yeah, there's five of them. I'm not doing that. <laughs> but they have to go through rigorous training, and they have to learn to follow customs before appearing in public. But if you have, if you love something, anything is possible. Just like me and YouTube. If I love YouTube, I'm gonna do it. And it's like if you go to the dance theater, an old man will give you something nice. I hear. Ooh, I wonder what that nice thing could be. Mm, do, do. Ah, you're on an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? You are right. I like that. Take this with you. The item finder. So let's put the item finder in the key pocket. There are many items lying about that aren't obvious. Use the item finder to see if there are items on the ground near you. Thanks, my guy. Uh, a critique's burned up tower, you say? I heard a rumor that Olivine Lighthouse... Oh, about Olivine R Lighthouse. The Pokemon that serves as the beacon fell ill. <gasps> no. Not the Pokemon that fell ill. Is there really a Pokemon that big? If it exists, it must be powerful. You know, you would think. This happened when I was young. The sky suddenly turned black. A giant flying Pokemon was blocking out the sun. I wonder what that Pokemon was. It was like a bird and a dragon. Hmm. Like a bird and a dragon, huh? Interesting, interesting. Ecritique used to have two towers. One each in the east and west. Well, so we got this spot here. And we got the burn tower. I hear Pokemon are rampaging into Lake Rage. I'd like to see that. Why? <laughs> Why would you want to see Pokemon raging? They used to be mu a much taller tower, but it burnt down in a fire. Okay, well, I think for now we'll save the rest of this for the next episode. We've got the two spots up top and the gym, and then we have the things on the left on the right hand side but of course if you enjoyed today's episode you guys make sure to like comment and subscribe and hit the bell so you're always notified when i upload tell your friends and family about me and i will see you all in the next one peace